2011, he was injured. What God does not do does not exist. Even a brother Mina said, it is not what God does not do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. It's not the truth. Jerieze did a fake miracle. I'll be looking at that conversation today. At least you know what you came in here for. If you're meeting me for the first time, the name is George and we've been doing this for a long time. Let's look at a couple of facts because I don't think Jerieze even did a miracle. Not even to talk about him doing a fake miracle. But you'll not understand my starting statement if you don't really look at the facts of what i'm discussing right here so that the freeze is also said to be one that has attacked the person of jerieze of course from this video which you are going to be looking at it's clear that he was speaking about jerieze based on the recent conversation but again you know how we do it here it's fact over sentiment it's not about sentiment it's about knowing what the truth is and so we are going to look at the chronology of events and then you now understand the reason why I made the statement I made in the beginning of this video. NSPP Dians. Start typing. See you after the intro. Now, first of all, I'll be looking at this video that was trending by the person of daddy freeze now he didn't mention any name but you know how social media itself is just like how you watch pastors themselves not mention any names when they are talking about something you know clearly as an audience listening that they are talking about this <laughs> it's still the same thing come on daddy freeze himself says he's a pastor listen to him here i'm also a pastor even though uh, not everybody has good impressions of pastors and I am like an antichrist pastor because I preach against what they preach against. Aha, uh -huh, so you understand. So let's listen to what he had to say first to give him the audience. Then I'll say what I have to say. Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. How are you doing? <clears throat> I think I clear my truth. I want to look for small trouble. Your pastors, they leave Kiripu, where they Niger. They go to Hidi, where they abroad. When I went down, I greet you now. I don't follow a quarrel. When I greet, I greet you now. Now, what he's saying right now is more like a general statement he's making. So, let's go on. But they say charity begins at home. You know, he the ones where they ask first before you go to heal or you ones. Now, question I ask, no need to fight me. Challenge me. If, if wait, you think say waiting at the top not make sense, if he challenge me. Then you have all sorts of excuses. Yeah, even Christ during his time, he did not heal everybody he came into contact with. Yes, it's true. Christ did not heal any, everybody. The problem is your pastors are not healing anybody. Christ did not heal everybody. Your pastors are not healing anybody. Your pastors are not healing anybody. That's what he thinks. But let's give him the audience till the end of his video. No, I, the people where Christ healed were popular people during his day. Mary and Martha's brother, Lazarus. Everybody know Lazarus. Jarius was not even a Christian. He was a Pharisee. Pharisees, Matthew chapter 23 verse 1, sit in the seat of Moses. What religion do they practice? Judaism, a religion based on the laws of Moses. Christ, he, he Jarius daughter, even though Jarius no be Christian. So Christ, he, Christian people finish, or in followers finish because there were no Christians while he was alive. Now that's a fact. There were no Christians while he was alive. You know how Christianity itself came about, like, you know so what he's saying here is factual on that particular aspect just for us to have a point of agreement he go heal other religion eh when i don't heal on our own brother and sister finish when they follow when they claim yahushua where they heal other people religion let's go further blind Bartimaeus. everybody know i'm so to everybody know him papa blind Bartimaeus' father was tadios they know i'm they know him papa the people where you they heal we don't know them we don't know their papa we don't see them for stage now this is one thing as well you see this particular statement i'm going to react to it before he continues and i think it's important as well for us to really understand something here yes of course when we are watching videos of miracles and all that happening in different churches, we have dealt with different fake miracles on this platform. So if you are new here, you don't understand what I'm saying here. My friends who have been here longer, you have dealt with them here. I show you facts, okay? Because of course, and even most of the time, the facts of which I get to bring in the fakeness of the miracle are people that are actually identifiable, not even unknown people. So when you look at this context now, he is just looking at the 
popularity, which is going to give the context of what he's saying. He's looking at the popularity or the obviousness of the persons that are being healed so that it becomes more like, okay, it's without any doubt that this person that everybody knows is someone that is now okay. Do you understand? But one thing as well we can have as a caveat and this is that miracles can happen in such a way that you that is on the internet don't know who is being healed or something but those who are in the audience probably of a church will know who the person is i don't know if you get what i'm saying so i'm just trying to bring a balance to this so it's not as if you must know everyone like when we look at like the fake miracles you have looked at on social media before we don't know who the persons are but we can tell that from what is happening here that this is a fake miracle this is just a stage uh, uh brouhaha this is just a stage nonsense we have seen that of course many times here so it's not new to us but in this particular point he's making is trying to hit at a point here which is going to make as he goes on so let me just give him the audience to make that john chapter 14 verse 12 the bible says greater works we shall do all i see today is lesser works and greater cappings christ walked on water we did do prayer work on land should we not start the prayer work at the bar beach and end up in the uk we will not even need visa aeroplane so you see now when he talks about uk referencing even though he's not mentioning any name directly, you can know where this is. This whole thing is coming from. Do you understand? But uh, him being a pastor, okay, and then him talking in the capacity of quote and unquote a pastor and a leader, uh, is more like him discrediting the Bible and he himself as well being in the mix of quote and unquote uh, pastors who are, you know not doing greater works but he gets to talk about what he thinks or believes is his own greater works that he is doing just that when it comes to the aspect of healing and miracles and manifestation which we can agree my dear friends on this platform that there's too much fakery there's too much nonsense going on in the name of god but you see we can't stop this the gullible would always exist <laughs> So let's go on. Just be praying and be walking. Roboto, Rebete, Scarabas, Kerebe, Rasha, Shasha, Shasha, Shasha. Oh, Robebe, be, 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 be. Let me tell you, it will be such a wonder that when you show up in the UK, walking all the way from Nigeria over the sea, they're not going to ask you for a visa, they're not going to ask you for a passport. They just know that God is with you. In fact, people will begin to give their life to God in their thousands. Then the next excuses, excuses. Hey, Daddy Freeze, you say hey, hey, greater works. What are the greater works you shall do? Did I ever tell you I can do miracle? I told you I can teach. Not only did I teach, I challenge your pastors to come and either be taught or debate my teachings with me. They're wrong. If I tell you I am a good Formula One driver, not give me basketball. See, make I prove, say, if he play basketball. I tell you, say, if he play basketball. The difference with your pastors is they say they can do miracles right now mr boo is there junior pope is there onye kan wenu is there let them help us raise them we miss mr Ibu's comedy junior pope left this world too early onye ka is nigeria's most talented singer by a wide margin we don't need to lose them please help us bring them back and also help us bring us in that also has one of the most angelic voices that used to sing in the choir praising the lord with her gift what reason does she have to buy nigerians make we now wake up make we all wake up i not tell you say i feel do miracle any day where i tell you say i feel do miracle and i not do the miracle lock my shirt i tell you say i feel teach nobody feel debate any of my teachings they say they feel do miracle oh yeah oh yeah may there is a god bless us all I <laughs> hey when i watch this video i it was very hilarious for me as well listening which I, I i come on i respect that he feels as a person i think um when it comes to most of his the things he teaches i agree some some of them i don't agree now looking at what he's saying here let's look at this critically because i'll look at jerry's um person as well and this one miracle that is trending when it comes to this conversation so that nsppdians who are watching <laughs> they're already typing in the comment what god cannot do does not exist even that particular term itself is even raising issues now from those who were defending 
and now they are now being offend offenders. When it comes to the subject of miracle, if Jerieze himself has come out and say he does miracles, he does this, please NSPPD and you have to help me with that video. Because one thing I believe in that, that happens in these gatherings or in this is that when you take the place of God and then put man there, that's what causes all of these things. You see, when God is allowed to be God, no man should take the glory of what God himself has done. Now, you will say a man has done a miracle when he walks up to this person and tells the person, rise up and walk. He has done the miracle by the power of God at work with him. But if people are in a particular gathering, because S. Jerezi himself is seen as a prayer ministry, quote and unquote, and then they are praying and praying about their situation, it is one thing for some for him to say, by word of knowledge or by word of prophecy, um, there's someone here, this and this. Which some of those things as well could be, come on. I've even watched pastors, even have pastors meeting and they say that you can even say just a word. Maybe one person here is having headache. In the midst of that, there has to be someone having headache. But I'm just giving you an example here. Whether it, you can have, there could be a genuine word of knowledge that this is, there's someone here that God is healing this and this. doesn't mean that the person, the pastor himself, walked up to the person and told the person you are healed you are free or this and this it's more like in that presence whereby you are gathering in the name of god god gets to show himself strong in that particular mist so people are coming with faith and they come together to pray whether they are praying online when people are coming together at a particular time they have agreed and they say they want to honor god in prayer and they're praying about their problems their needs or something and then a miracle happened. That miracle, of course, will be credited to that particular quote and unquote ministry that they are part of. Not as if the man who is a man of God or the upper echelon man of the ministry is the one that did the miracle. But it is God that has done the miracle in the midst of that gathering. Just that the thing is that it now turns it to be that it is a man himself that has done a miracle if, if had it been let's say for example this miracle that we are looking at right now which um is trending where is the miracle itself let me see if i could find it okay so the miracle of this lady uh let me play it for you to see now if you watch that miracle yourself my dear friends what do you notice is that if you watch the miracle yourself what you notice is that they are praying and then you know something happens in the audience and then they come to give their testimony it's not as if you walked up to a lady and told the girl lawyer rise up and walk or something i don't know if you understand so sometimes as well there are some things that happen in the midst of a gathering whereby you know adrenaline is rushing and people just want to t testify and all that someone that is being seen as the greatest healing evangelist quote and unquote like the person of Joshua Seman would say when it comes to healing Benny Hen is the one that has it he spoke about the voice of God but I need you to understand how the administration comes because when Samuel had God he had it in the voice I mean when uh, Samuel had God he had it in the voice of Eli he did not hear a loud thunder when God called Samuel Samuel ran to Eli and said, did you call me? He went back again and God called him and, and Samuel said, I know what is happening. The next time he speaks, it is through my voice, the semblance of my voice, but I know the one speaking. Tell him, speak, Lord, because you will hear something that I cannot tell you, even though it is my voice. Are we together now? Yes. This is very powerful. What happens is that God would call a man and through the sacrifice of covenant alignment, God will lead that man through a unique path in the spirit. Listen carefully. A unique path in the spirit that will give that man the capacity to be able to host the dimension of God that he wants to invest in him. Now, when that man successfully goes through that season, God will anoint him and grant him the engracing. And the reward of that man for staying with God is that anyone within that dispensation who wants to access that dimension of God will never do it in dishonor to that vessel. That is your own reward for staying with God. That means God will never bypass you to communicate that dimension across that for as long as you are alive. So for instance, when you talk today about the ministry of faith, choose any man of God on earth that you want to. It will still end in Copeland. You listen to Kenneth Copeland, and he may be very simple and basic, but you will be surprised. Ignore his ministry and downplay him through dishonor. You will be surprised that as yielded you are in, as in the spirit, you will never access certain levels of faith until you recognize that ministry as being a conduit. That is the conduit that God set up to administer his dimension of faith. 
when Kenneth Copeland dies, God will raise another man again. Are we together now? This is very powerful. The ministry of healing. Choose any man of God you know that works in the healing ministry. You will keep routing it. It will get back to Benihin standing today. You will never truly walk in the healing anointing, ignoring the presence of that ministry. Are you getting what I'm telling you now? I'm just teaching you how the three layers of God's anointing, that you can have that anointing through encounters, through the manifestation of principles and covenant alignment to people who have that anointing based on covenant. That is the reason why you can come under the influence of a man who has that covenant with God. And even before you understand the dynamics of that grace, it will be working in your life. He doesn't even say himself that he has healed anyone. He says that God is the one that does the healing. Even though when he was being investigated as well, what he says on the pulpit is different from what he says when he is being interviewed. He has been the subject of investigations by the United States Senate and numerous media outlets, but rarely has the televangelist and faith healer Benny Hinn granted an interview to defend himself. Until tonight. He is perhaps the biggest televangelist in the world. Benny Hinn has preached to tens of millions of people all over the planet. His television show airs in 200 countries every day. Come on, lady. She can walk without the wheelchair, without the cane. The core of his appeal, his claim that God uses him to miraculously heal the sick. The people are so hungry for God here, my God. Whoa. But so you got to explain this to me. How does it work? Are you saying that the Holy Spirit enters you and you can heal people? Well, I'll try to explain that to you. The anointing, which is God's power, comes on me. Yes, I can actually feel it. And people start getting healed. You'd be amazed some of the, th of the things I hear on that platform. If you listen critically, this is a video of like years ago, almost 14 years ago. You hear him here saying, you'll be amazed at what I hear on that platform not what I do on that platform. Um, because some people don't read what I write on the screen, I have to read this out. So Benny N does not pray directly for you to be healed. During the meetings, if you feel healed, you have to be the one to come up on the stage to show that you have been healed. Even for you to get the access to come up on the stage, there are some people that are going to be down there to verify that whatever it is you are saying you could not do before and you can do, is actually worthy of presentation there. If you are still sick or something, you are not allowed to go up on the stage. We interviewed a man who saw those miracle crusades firsthand as one of Pastor Benny's security detail. He agreed to talk with us if we disguised his identity. We called him Andrew. How do they pick the ones they want to go on stage at that point? They have staff members that go through and give them a quick, uh, quick interview. And they'll ask them, can you, you know, what's wrong with you? Oh, I've had uh, rheumatoid arthritis of my left shoulder. I can't lift it. All of a sudden, can you lift your shoulder? Because if you can't lift your shoulder, you can't go on stage. According to Andrew, the screening system has one purpose, to keep the truly sick or disabled away from Benny Hinn. Those people are never near, allowed near the stage. In our original broadcast, viewers were captivated by a mother and daughter we met in the stands at the Calgary Crusade. Janice Brulat is a lifelong believer whose eight-year-old Grace couldn't walk because of a severe neuromuscular disorder. I said, you know, honey, we could stay up here because, you know what? I said, Jesus is up here. And she said, no, mommy, she said, I'd like to go down and see if Benny Hinn could pray for me. I said, are you sure? She said, yes, mommy. Hoping for their miracle, they tried to make their way towards the stage, but they were intercepted by him screeners who ordered them to sit down. Grace and I moved over to the side. We sat and waited, and Grace asked me if I could help her to try and walk. And uh, that was kind of her faith in action. And uh, so I picked her up, and we tried walking back and forth. And um, that was kind of a hard moment. We caught up with Janice and Grace as they fled from the arena. Their hopes of a miracle, even a prayer from Pastor Benny, now gone. It just kept saying that she healed, and she healed, and like there was such a big like rush, like yeah.
think some of you watched the documentary that uh, um, that was done um, by Mike Winger recently that went viral and then Benny Hinn had to come out and apologize and everything. So just the idea of that as well helps you understand that even as he will say here in this interview, he is not responsible for the healing. God is responsible. So you are also responsible for what you say. And most time as well here, people who have faith and believe, of course, on what God is going to do, which I believe, of course, God is God people falling when you go on the stage it's just for him to more like either pray for it to be permanent or just do the show of you falling down but you falling down at that point is not as if he is healing you there because you are coming to say what you feel has happened by the power of god but if you understand the psychology of why people come for the meetings it's more or less like they're coming for him to heal them but what i'm trying to make you understand in this video is what i had said earlier if you have been listening The anointing, which is God's power, comes on me. Yes, I can actually feel it. And people start getting healed. You'd be amazed some of the, th of the things I hear on that platform. The cancer, the, the pain is gone, the this is gone. Uh, I was sitting on my wheelchair and I can walk now, such things like this. Am I using the so-called lie that healings really happen so I can make money. Correct. Okay. Of course not. You cannot fool all the people all the time, right? You don't need to fool all the people all the time. You just need to fool some people <laughs> sometimes. Well, okay, that's, that's, okay, I, I mean, I understand that. But I will tell you this. I think if I was fooling the people over 35 years of it now, I would have been caught already fooling them. You, is the pain gone? Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Hinn admits he doesn't have any medical verification of any of the healings, and in fact, some of the supposed healings have turned out to be not real at all. In Jesus' sweet name. Nine-year-old William Vandenkolk claimed his failing eyesight had improved at this Hinn crusade in 2001. As soon as God healed me, I could see better. William is now 17 and still legally blind. I'd say I was caught up in the moment, being as young as I was, thinking I could actually be getting my vision back. Yep. His name is William, I and know. he still can't see. These are things I cannot explain, because I am not the healer. I'm human like you. I make mistakes like anybody else. Hin says God does the healing, not him, and that he is therefore not responsible for what people claim on stage. But as I continue to press him, his publicist starts to interrupt angrily. What are some of the other issues besides you know, the discussion? He just well, said I can I'm ask him whatever he wants. No, 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 I'm really fine with that. <laughs> because of this whole idea of catching uh, fake miracles and all of that. If you have watched a documentary that was made on his person and how it was very revealing, you will get to understand some of the things that happened in churches. But that's not what I'm talking about today. So the point I'm making now is that that video will look as if Jerieze walked up to someone and told the person, rise up and walk or this and this or do this or I command you to see. I, I, I haven't even seen that before. If there is any video of such a swall, amazing, I would say. But when it comes to his person, what I hear is people testifying but as a result of them being part of that particular community, coming in faith for what they believe in and then getting answers to their prayers as they pray together and God is answering prayers. Not as if he walks up to someone and then tell the person, oh, this or um, no, 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 that kind of thing. You see, when you talk about that, then you can be, it's people that you see like those who have a healing school or these like the pastor crisis and all that that you see and maybe you can now say, okay, from what they're saying, rise up and walk or do this or stand up from your bed. You can now be able to analyze and be like, oh, this thing is fake or those who will be doing miracle money when they know those who are, they are sending money to you know all those kind of things so you can really you know define those but let's look at the testimony of the the parents of a child because i don't know why okay jerese himself said in this video that he wasn't going to reply anyone as it was trending let me play the video for you to listen listen msp videos you will never see this man here reply anybody yeah. i don't have that kind of time I don't have time. I don't have time. There are more important things to do for God. People of God. People, look at the arranged miracle. 
No, she was never on a wheelchair. Look at the parents saying she kaya bad. Listen and uh, Oga, 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 Sir You know, you are loved by many. We love you. I don't hate you. Some of your members now they will be calling me names in the comment. You, what you are doing now is reply. You are not replying, but you are replying. You have reacted. You have. You get some. <laughs> even me, sir, I don't. It's that some. That some. If you don't want to reply, don't even. You don't. You know they even send. You see, one thing I believe in is that God shows Himself mighty. One with God is majority. Hold on to that like this. So of course you are not. You don't have the time, but you just had the time this moment to reply what he did now is reacting to it even though you're not replying to anyone specifically just like that if he did not really talk to you like specifically now many other people might have reacted but you see everything is all about influence attention is currency relevance by association we know that here so that if he has a great number of attention or degree of attention on social media so when he speaks of course it's something that would go everywhere Come on, look at me. Over two years now, I've been talking about Jeremiah multiple things, Miracle Water, Miracle, so long time ago. It is now because VDM has come and talk about it, which I, is quite a, an interesting um, development, that Jeremiah has come out and come and say that his racial items are not for sale. I want to now make you people clear tonight. The spiritual items are not for sale. The special items are not for sale. And anybody out there sell these special items to you, I will lay costs on them. I will lay costs on them because it's not for sale. But he has been selling it for many years. <laughs> you see, so everything depends on the degree of attention that is able to be pulled on a particular conversation. If let's say any person was talking, let's say probably any other person was maybe criticizing his, uh, the miracle, which of course right here, I won't say his miracle. I think I will just say God's god's own miracle let's uh, let's agree that this is a miracle that god has done you understand i don't think he will even be reacting like this but he has reacted in a way anyway with even even though he's saying that he doesn't have time to reply you get the point so let's see the video of the parents themselves talking about this whole situation and i have a comment as well i have to read to you on this um particular condition of the girl let's listen to the parent we are the Chukwetose family we have come to give glory to God for what God has done in the life of our daughter. Our daughter was born with cerebral palsy and um, as a result she had um, delayed de developmental milestones. So one thing about um, this condition is that it's, it's more um, connected to the brain, I would say, you know. But I'm not a doctor, I don't know too much, so let's listen to her and pay close attention to the details of what she says here. We genetically affected her motor skills. Uh, we joined NSPPD in 2021. We were trusting God for her miracles. And um, this, this situation demanded that we do lots of therapy. This really affected our finances. At some point, we just, you know, gave up because it was too much. Okay, so they have been doing therapy. You see, that's one thing I like about this testimony. They have been making effort themselves to use the available system that God has given the wisdom to man to work with, to see what they can achieve with that, even though they're still believing God for. Me, I don't believe in the fact that, okay, you have a condition and then you, come on, you believe in God as well and then make do of what he has made available. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So I, I really applaud them for the effort of course they have made because where the man where where man's effort stop is where god's ability as well comes or where god shows himself strong we could not um, handle the financial obligation that he required so we decided to relocate to the uk and um, upon coming here to the uk my daughter has been confined to the wheelchair which made her you know, we progressed with the little things she could even do before and um, made her always feel sad and feel bad that she could not, she could not play, she could not be with friends, you know, it, it was... Yeah, one thing I noticed as well, probably they had the situation in Nigeria which now led to them relocating to the UK. So I don't know if you're getting the story well, but that's what I'm hearing here. Probably I'm 
mishearing what I heard, but they were probably in Nigeria dealing with the situation as well. It was affecting them financially, but they were able to relocate to the UK. And since they got to the UK, um, the child was confined to the wheelchair. Okay, let's go on. Just a lot that really affected us as a family. So we went for NSPPD UK prayer conference in 2023 mm -hmm. in Excel, right? Yeah. We went and uh, we were believing God for mm -hmm. a testimony. And um, even though nothing happened there, we still trust God that God, our time will come one day. They were believing God for a testimony, you know. Now, most time as well here, when people go for programs like this, they are going because of the belief they have in the organizer, like in the man. Because, you know, have you, I don't, have you heard of this thing that is happening recently, whereby it's very popular now. The God of this person, the God of this, you can say, oh, may the God of George help me, may the God of, you know, that kind of thing. So... I think that's also something that is brewing, I would say, when it comes to the Pentecostal um, ministry and what is happening, which I'm beginning to, I think, look at this video by Pastor E. the way. A young man was working in Lagos, and then they told him his sister died in the east of Nigeria, and uh, he told them, please don't bury her yet. I will get permission from my place of work so I can come and be there. By the time he got permission was able to arrive, the woman had been dead for 11 days. They, have, they, they embalmed her and kept her in the house. But he had an handkerchief that had been anointed by us and he entered carrying the baby of the woman who died because the woman had, had a little child before she died, entered the room, laid the handkerchief on her, commanded, command you in the name of the God of Adeboe, arise, and began to go out of the room in sorrow. When he got to the door, he had a sound behind him and turned. And the sister was sitting up. Uh, you, you get that? I'm not questioning his testimony. I'm just playing it for you to get the idea that even the pastor himself is speaking that as what it should be. Okay, I am not sub I don't subscribe to praying in the name of somebody's God. Do you understand? Personally, but I am not against what you believe in. Just for you to know, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Let's go on as well here as they give their testimony. So at this point, what I'm trying to make you understand is that it is very intentional that when people go for these meetings as well here, they are believing God for something to happen there, which is going to be as a result of the grace of God that should, you know, be at work in that kind of gathering. But they are believing God, which I think is a, a, a wonderful thing. Let's go on. I'm joining the prayer altar, I kept praying. And trusting God. My daughter never misses the testimony. Like that's usually the time when she's on her way to school. She's always, always, she always takes her phones and she's listening to testimony on the road while she's on a wheelchair. So when it was time for a UK prayer conference again in 2024, we were like, okay, we're not gonna miss it. And um, we went over and we as a family we believed God that even though we wheeled our, our daughter in there on a wheelchair, we we're not gonna leave there with her. On the wheelchair. So we're not going to leave Twickenham Stadium. Twickenham Stadium. In the wheelchair. Yes. That mm -hmm. was that was our that was our belief, and we you know kept trusting God for it. We went with our kids. We went over, and then my daughter joined in the prayer. Yes, Pastor Jerry, you're really affecting the next generation. She joined in the prayer, and as soon as Pastor Jerry started saying, "Check yourself, do what you couldn't do before." <laughs> My daughter, things she found difficult to do, which she could not do, she started doing them. The things that she would do when she would fall, she was doing them without even falling. I was like, okay, wait a minute, something is happening right here. This is the, this. There is a difference right here, and um, I remember left to me as a parent maybe because we are a private family. Left to me as a parent, we just mm -hmm. want to like, okay, so thank God for your healing. Let's go home. But my yeah. daughter was shouting, "Mommy, I'm healed. Mommy, see me. I can do this. I can do that." And she kept doing it. And she was shouting, you know, everybody could see her doing it. And, you know, 
were excited. She was like, I want to give my testimony, mommy. I want to give my testimony. So we took her out. And even the people <laughs> the people beside us, the sat behind us, were even telling us to go, to go, to go. That is a She's testimony. Too late, you know? You know. So there was no way we could hide. So we just literally took her out then. I think that is also something to note. It's the uh, girl's own will for her to share her testimony. You know, already she has been through the process of always watching testimonies and probably wants to be a testifier someday. So coming there and then experiencing that, okay, something different has happened according to what they are narrating. You know, this is facts right here, here on this platform, because some people don't really understand. No one knows the truth. You have to analyze the facts to find the truth no one knows the absolute truth so it's, it is from looking at the facts that are available that you can now be able to see okay what is true what is not true what is a likely maybe maybe not so from what they're saying right here as well as a parent would you deny your child of what they want personally to do i don't know if you understand so at this point i really do get the point or the sentiments right here at that time the thing she found difficult to do now she was walking, she was not getting tired. Yeah. She literally made her way back home without, without the wheelchair. being on the wheelchair. She was so, not tired one minute. I kept asking, are you tired? Are you weak? So that was a goal that they didn't want to leave that particular stadium with her on the wheelchair. Now the question is, does she still use the wheelchair now? I don't know you don't know they know but with that particular faith that they had that is what they're talking about right here wonderful testimony let's go on you know she just say mommy i'm healed why are you asking me mommy i'm healed i'm fine you know mm. and the beautiful thing is that she's been even even challenging before. our faith yeah so. after the twickenham experience the twickenham healing we went back home without her being in the wheelchair and she walked with us back home she never got tired she never got weak and that's another sign that you know that came to us that made us know that really she has really, really gotten her miracle really yeah she has gotten her healing you know and we bless god for what god has done yeah. in the life of our daughter today i took her for her physio again and uh okay so she's still doing physio so it's not as if she went there she walked and then sefini oh yeah everything done she still has to go back you know there has to be like that check as well just to not as if you don't believe god but you know so go back to your normal routine as well to really see how progress is you understand so she talking about this is also important for you to note she's still doing physio let's go on i remember they were just making comments like oh wow she did this beautifully well oh wow she did this fine that that's good you know and we believe god that god who has begun this would definitely Perfect. complete it okay so god who has begun this would definitely complete it so it's one thing now you might be saying okay if you look at biblical references as well when jesus healed people it's more of like stand up and walk or yeah you stand up and walk okay you know blind blind getting to see see different for some time and then gets to see clearly and all that so but again as well here they're following due process the only the, the idea here is that they are having faith in god that something is happening but what I, I i applaud the family is that they didn't have that event at the stadium and then went back home and didn't go back to the hospital to go and check to be sure not as if they don't believe in god but to just go there and then make sure to validate every, that this was the issue that where the people that when benny him was being investigated that what actually happened people will come he would declare that the person has been the person would come based on adrenaline rush come and come to the altar and say i'm free i'm free i can do this i can do this and then when he will just do the whole gymnastic the person will fall the person will fall next two weeks the person don't die the next thing now they will now blame you that you your faith is not enough but already camera have done camera they have camera you the camera have camera you <laughs> and then that has been sent out for publicity and then it will also bring more don donations to the ministry. I'm just telling you facts. If you have not seen these documentaries I'm talking about, you don't understand jack of what I'm saying. These are facts as well. Do you understand? So with this as well, what they are doing is due process. And I appreciate the family. Do you understand? Let's go on. I'm saying Pastor Jerry won't say don't stop. Don't stop. Not necessarily because of us, but I'm seeing the impact it's having on my daughter and even other children. And... My daughter was saying stuff like uh, when I was taking her for the physiotherapy today, she told me some private things that she wanted to do. Do you want to share? 
I want to let everyone know that everyone that is on the video coaches can get healed and know that the God is really good and every time uh, if I see some more people on videos or coaches I'm, I'm going to pray for them no matter what to help them get healed but I'm more and more can believe in God and that way everyone that was healed would tell everyone else to join so that a lot of people can worship the God. Papa, we they pray. <laughs> it, it is so. This will not be Bobo. Nobody Bobo was. It happened live in Twickenham and today we have we have our evidence. Our daughter has become far, far, much more better than what she used to be before. What God cannot do, does not exist. Our daughter has become far, far better than she used to be before. There is improvement. It's not complete yet, but we are getting there. We should praise God for what he has done. Isn't that supposed to be what should we clap it? Quacka, quacka, quacka. Of course. There are some things that God cannot do. Even though we have looked at this subject two years ago, the video is still here. When our brother, Pastor Eber Damina, and Pastor Moses Salu had to do a knockout on that particular subject. Some of you don't remember, but maybe I can remind you as well here with this video. This one, this one, not the other one I just clicked on right now. This one. Pastor Moses Salu replied, Pastor Eber Damina, on what God cannot do does not exist. When I looked up this two years ago, for some of you who think I just arrived, I've been here longer. I was looking at the positivity of it. You know, it's, 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 when it comes to negativity, there's a difference between being purely pessimistic and critical i'm a critical person i'm a critical thinker i tell you that so that's why i can look at something and then mm, just be very objective but if you are being pessimistic you will not see any good in something the good i saw in this video when i was looking at the family's testimony is a seed in this child at this stage as well having that heart for god and the parents themselves building her up when it comes to having faith in God as a child. You don't really understand what is going on there. Whether what is Bobo, whether it is Bobo or not Bobo, like they are trying to really emphasize and all that, whether it is, I care less about that. What I'm trying to see here is a good part of a child like this here, having this much faith in God and being excited about the things of God. And the parents would have to please make sure this child grows up in the knowledge of God the way she is growing up like this, loving the things of God which is very important. There's someone else that we know. I have respect for him as well here. He actually did his master's thesis on the person of Benny Hen, who is a faith healer, Kini Kiniko. And he has the same condition as well. <laughs> oh, yes. But his experience with the person of Benny Hen, because Benny Hen packaged himself as the healing Kini Kiniko, and he went there and he was, they just shoved him aside and he really understood what happens in Benny Hen's ministry to even go to school and write his master's thesis on his person. I've been studying Benny Hinn for close to 20 years now and you know what every year Benny Hinn looks just a little bit older than he did the year before. According to the faith preachers if you're not healed are there reasons for that? Yes according to the prosperity preachers if you're not healed well it's probably because of your lack of faith. You just don't have enough faith. Watch this from Benny Hinn. My friend, hear this well. The reason people lose their healing is because they begin questioning if God really did it. We receive it by faith. We keep it by faith. Say by faith. Kind and touched his garment. Now, before she touched, verse 1 to 8 says, For she said, For she said, for she said, say that with me. In other words, she knew. She knew that she knew that she knew she's going to get a miracle. First key, she heard. Second key, she came. Third key, she knew. When you know, you're on the way. But if you sit there and say, I'm not sure, you just lost it. What does laying your hands on a human have to do with healing? Well, really nothing. We touch people all the time, they're still sick. 
What he's looking for is permission. The power to heal is always present. But having permission to heal is held up by humanity and their lack of faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. Having permission to heal is held up by humanity and their lack of faith. Is faith required for us to receive physical healing from God? Well, dear friends, let me put it in these terms. If you are here tonight and you know Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, don't let anybody tell you that you don't have enough faith to be healed. Because if you have been granted enough faith to be saved, you have certainly got enough faith to be healed. Because being saved is by far the greatest miracle. You understand what can be a fool for someone to really hate what happens in the church. Now, he doesn't hate what happens in the church. He just exposes the falsehood of what the ministers themselves peddle in the name of serving God, which I understand very clearly. I don't know if you get the point of what I'm saying here. So I like what I'm seeing with that girl. Some of you don't even know who I'm talking about that I'm showing you the picture here, but those who have been following Christian conversations really understand what I'm saying. So NSPP, wonderful. But let's look at this here because <laughs> we are talking about what God cannot do that will not exist. Let me remind some of you, even though I've looked at this before. What God does not do does not exist. Even about that mean said, it is not what God does not do does not exist. Maybe what they say is what God cannot do, not what God can <laughs> but that's one thing when you are programmed to really you know hit or something you will just be misyearning but i understand Ebed Amina, please carry on my dear which now establishes that god is responsible for everything he, See, he is looking at it from the negative side when i looked at this as well here i was looking at it on the fact that every with god nothing is impossible with god when it comes to god's benevolence god's grace god's ability he can do anything he wills his sovereignty do you understand but again it's one thing to be critical it's one thing to be pessimistic but i understand where he's coming from as well daminites call me other names in the comments i'm reading them he kills he makes a life he destroys he does everything what god, some of you have it what god does not some of you have it inside your phones some of you that's your screensaver something is wrong with your mandula oblongata you need to be cross-examined listen écoutez but those of you who have been listening to me from around the world, you've heard me make comments concerning this preacher, Abel Damina. Vous m'avez entendu faire des commentaires concernant Abel Damina. I discovered, j'ai découvert, that he's just, qu'il est juste, an empty noise maker. Qu'il est juste un faiseur de miracles, de bruit vide. It's just a distraction. C'est juste la distraction qu'il fait. The truth is he's saying nothing. Parce que la vérité c'est qu'il ne dit rien. There's nothing he's saying that can build up Christ in any listener. That and there is nothing in him in a, what he's saying. Il y a rien dans ce qu'il dit. That produces true righteousness. This is this is this is not. You see, I am not a cancel culture kind of person. Last time when I played the video of uh, Robert Angel with respect to me discussing Jeremiah Motufufin's miracle whatever nonsense he's selling, I had to play a video of Robert Angel teaching good on the subject of miracle whatever buying water and all that and people were saying ah so uber tenger can teach good like this for me it's not all about who is false who is real who is that i have my personal convictions but sometimes you you need to use the influence of someone's personality for those whom they have their influence over or who have whom who have given their yes to to speak to them there are some people that when I speak, they listen because maybe they have followed me over time and trust my conviction. There are some people that when they speak, you listen. Probably you will not listen to me. So what do I do? I'll play their videos for you to listen and learn. So you were like, ah, someone that you expose for miracle money, credit score miracle and all that. I say, it's not all about that. He was speaking the truth here. So I deal with that. So for him to be saying at this point here in this video that there's nothing there's nothing good no you don't say you don't say that but again it's pastors even even him himself don't worry I'll, I'll show you himself so that you see that the same person that is talking now is now talking opposite again so probably nsppd and super we're clapping for him at this point 
Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. But let's finish. I'll show you something else here so you understand what I'm saying. La justice est vraie. So I consider what he's saying, therefore, que je peux dire par à ce as dit, his own faith, je vois comme si un his de own foi, religion. Sa part de religion, and I am not part of that religion. Et je ne fais pas partie de cette so religion. why am I bothering myself with it? Pourquoi alors je vais de cela? You are behaving like somebody that did not attend a word church. Because when you attend a word church, church and you have a good pastor it will be an insult for you to join those who don't even have a good pastor to be shouting what god does not do does not exist that means god is responsible for killing the unborn babies god is responsible for the destruction of men's lives god is for everything because what god does not do does not exist death exists god is responsible sickness exists god is responsible poverty exists god is responsible disaster exists what god does not do does not exist god is a liar like i better mean shall quote the thing correct shall be quoting it correct anyway but you can see that this is what happens when you want to attack a situation attack it fine quote it quote it correct what god cannot do does not exist it's not the truth. People think I'm jealous of Jereze. Jereze is by 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 far my. It's not about sentiment. It's about knowing what the truth is. That means is now they are fighting in the comments. Hey, yo, what up, what up? Which read the comment section? Me, I, I enjoy. Hey, I enjoy comment section a lot too. That is where hey, I give woto woto. They give me woto woto. I also give woto woto. So that is where I just stay and be chatting with people there. Continue. It exists. God is a thief. Still, in exists. You follow unschooled people to be quoting their cliche because you yourself, you don't know God. What God cannot do does not exist. Que Dieu ne peut pas faire, pas. Because Parce que there is nothing God cannot do. Parce y a rien que Dieu ne faire. And there is nothing God has not done. Y a rien que Dieu pas faire. He said God cannot Il dit que Dieu be ne tempted peut. with evil. Ne peut pas être tenté par la God cannot. Dieu. They are reading James. Okay, now, so, all in all, you can find this video on this platform and then you watch it yourself if you hadn't seen it before. But he was here clearly defending Pastor Jerry Eze. For him, he has issue with about Damina long time. They have issue with the whole baptism thing. So this is not the first time he criticized him like three years ago on the whole baptism thing. We looked at it as well here on the platform. So uh if if he sees an opportunity to come against him damina as well come on he takes on it very fine which i don't have at this point i agreed with him because he was looking at it on the positive side as well which i don't have a problem with okay about damina himself you know might have his own um situations as well looking at it as well from the pessimistic side do you understand but is this particular video now the same person that was defending jerry Eze, which ever damina was talking about a word-based church now i don't know if i've criticized jerry Eze before for nsvp dance who might be who might be up before you start applauding me in the comments or saying god bless you you might you might have to just delete it again after i say what i want to say i've criticized him before on this platform and that was based on a comment he made more like a i won't say it's doctrinal but based on the scriptures when he was talking about summoning people's spirit and all that we discussed about that here on the platform now that i discuss that doesn't mean that i'll come and say he's a false teacher or he's a false he's a false prayer warrior let me just put him that way anybody can make mistakes i've seen that many times here it's for you to know that you have made a mistake you are learning and then you are growing my next two videos if not if god is wheels we were looking at the person of pastor about amina the i won't i won't call it heresy but the mistake he has made and then him also growing from that ever damina is not knowing you those of you that are daminites it's not all in all when it comes to it's not it's not i know it all if he was a titan guru and now no more a titan guru think there's something he preaches now that tomorrow he will he may not be preaching the same thing again because of course everybody is growing but it's one thing for you to realize that i was here before okay now i'm here why because i've learned and then i i know better it's something is it's part of natural human life do you get the point now let's look at this video now so you 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 understand exactly uh, what i'm saying look at this video here of uh the same moses Alu. look at what he says here about jerry Eze. and also you know about amina a minister that has no message there is one he's even being honored everywhere all because he has two hours every day to be speaking in tongue 
that he's leading prayers. What God cannot do does not exist. Hey. So that is the message. That is the message at this altar. And this was the same person. You see, so that means what he did before, it wasn't really all about him trying to defend Jerieze as a loyalist or something or someone that likes him. It's all about getting back on Damina, understanding Damina's own... <laughs> When I, when I tell you something, attention is currency. If you want your head to come out like this, be talking about, you know, come on, ask yourself a question. Me, I'm telling you, me, I don't do gatekeeping on this platform. That you are watching me now is because I'm talking about these trending conversations. Tomorrow, if I'm talking about government or I'm talking about some other thing, you people will not show up. But I have over a hundred thousand people following me. I understand the system. I understand the platform. I know how everything works. If he's coming to talk about the person of about Amina at that time as well there, and he's saying this right now about the same Jerieze he was defending, that he has no message. What really happened? Are you getting the point? Why didn't you see that he had no message that time? So what point am I trying to make you understand with this video? People would not always agree with you. And even when people agree with you, you have to understand why they agree with you at that particular point. For me, myself as well, that's why you could see me, the same person that I'm criticizing tomorrow, I'm praising the same person. You say, George, ah, why are you? Because I, you see, we have principles here. It's facts over sentiment. Someone you might see to be like the devil or the worst or the charlatan. If tomorrow the person is being lied against on something, I would come out here and defend the person that because i know the truth because someone is demonized doesn't mean that every rubbish should be thrown at the person reason it and, and and thousands hundreds of thousands are following that and he said he has a message his message is a prayer there is no such message you are supposed to use that your prayer ministry is it and give them the message prayer 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 then they send offering to you you will soon stand aside watch and see hey, <laughs> hey so nspp the answer we already typing god bless you man of god are, are you going to take back your god bless you man of god because he just criticized your pastor now sincerely speaking my dear friends i don't know how church runs in nsppd i don't know does he have attention yes does he have a, um, a following? Yes. Come on. YouTube even says that he earns how many billion or something. Do I have an issue with that? No. Now, some of you will start saying it is jealousy, it is envy or something. Why don't you mind your business and mind what is... If you care about the body of Christ, you'll be concerned about what is happening in the body. But I see, of course, everybody mind your business, mind your business. I, I, I get the point. I get the point. Do you agree with what he's saying right here? It's just a matter of your own preference. But Jerieze himself, of course... He's, he's, he's known for prayer. You see, something that you do consistently, every day he's doing it, the following will be growing and all that. Because of him, I would say, not really because of him, but Ghana, they have someone that does Alpha Hour. Nigeria has NSPPD. Some of you are doing commanding the night, commanding the day, commanding the morning, you like commanding the afternoon, whatever. You understand? There are some that cannot get into that again because... If like I say the market has been taken over by one particular person or some people, some churches just, you know, but he himself, that is what Eze himself has, you know, had started himself. And in that particular aspect, God is uh, raising his horn. You understand? People would have issues with that. I have had issues with some things he has taught in the process of him teaching about prayer or something, which I, I was, if you have not watched the video, look for it and listen. So him saying that he doesn't have a message of course when it comes to christianity and the tell about the word of god you have to renew their mind with the word of god of course it's not all prayer 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 itself is important but the thing is that we have too many problems you understand everybody get problem every you know even the pastors will always tell you somebody has planned something in your house somebody is attacking you somebody is sending arrow somebody so because of all of these ideas one baba koso go to where they are praying pray i will never belittle prayer i pray myself probably i don't hit my leg head on the ground or use cane to flog the ground or hit my hand on the wall but of course i have there's a way i communicate with god myself yeah, but some people would also need that particular follow-up, that community whereby they feel like, oh, okay, I'm here. So maybe when Jerezé is praying online, them that are in their house also praying at the same time. I just used to wonder, when they are praying on the internet, who are the people typing amen, amen, amen? Are you praying or you are typing? Because I don't, I some, I really, really not understood that really. I Sometimes I try to fathom it. They're sending fire, 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 fire. 
and they are telling you to click share click share how are you down doing the prayer like how you know i don't know you are praying you are sharing you are typing amen you are giving super chat you are doing this i don't know if you understand but make i no go there if not they go tear my trouser for this youtube they go cut my eh god i cannot imagine the comment i'm reading now oh my god when i don't know it yeah they go through with all these woto woto people are giving me but you are getting the point now huh? you understand let's let me see if, if if that is all he said hey living faith mountain of fire we must tell them the message we must tell them the message we must tell them the message prophet sunday when they come to you and line up there tell them that yes this is the cause of your problem but have you given your life to christ if not god will soon pack you aside if not prophet sunday he will soon pack you aside okay so i wouldn't want to go on with this this was a video of uh bishop david Oedipo saying that he's never criticized anybody he's just been minding his business you know that kind of thing so that's not what we are discussing but uh, uh, do you get the point of this video let me even play one more miracle that happened as well um at that particular event with pastor jerry Heze himself so we could look at live event of what happened there uh, uh, so we can see it as well and observe clearly <laughs> what what happened to him healed by the power of the holy ghost okay so you know people were just coming out because they want to testify so let's listen to this man's um, testimony as he speaks he has a west, west a back a back injury a back injury he's a military man of the british army is healed by the power of the holy can, ghost can you can you give him the microphone let, let me let me um Yes, please. Can can we keep the um, uh, video on him, please, Anita? What, what happened to you, Papa? I've been watching your program, but my sister always send me messages. I'm in the British Army. I've been suffering for back pain for a very long time. I've seen specialists. My my wife at home. It's, it's affected my life. I've done physio. But when we were praying, the spirit asked me to bring my ID card and just raise it up. And as I was there. I can't feel anything in my back anymore. Pastor, over here. He's over here. Over here. You, 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 you can't keep quiet. You can't keep quiet. Amazing, right? so this is someone sharing his own testimony it's not as if he went to him and say i command you to be you get what i mean come on look at the crowd there if you say come on there's someone here that has headache somebody there has headache there's someone here that has back pain somebody has back pain i'm not saying this on the or you, you get what i mean so god works in mysterious way it is god being god here you understand let's look at what else we see here. So this one is now about the girl. Too many people wanting to testify. So he has to now stop some of them and then ask questions. Oh yeah, this person speak to me. This is the bandage that she used to bind her toe. She came with a broken toe and she could not make use of the toe. Yes. But when you started praying and you said we should do what we could not do before, right now she can make use of her toe. She can make use of her toe. Wow, 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 wow. And she couldn't do this before. Somebody give the Lord a loud shout. 
so apparently she wasn't apparently the girl wasn't the only one that was healed or would i say experienced a touch of god at that particular event many other people were probably i don't know why has was highlighted maybe because has was trending on the internet but i read this poster from a friend i follow on instagram um i don't know how to the the ay shan so this is what he said he said here when, he com when it comes to claims of miraculous healing, especially for serious conditions like cerebral palsy, it is important to be cautious and think critically. While believing in miracles can bring hope, we need to understand what these claims really mean. Cerebral palsy affects movement and coordination due to brain damage, but it's essential to clarify that it isn't paralysis and doesn't necessarily mean the person cannot walk. Many individuals with cerebral palsy, I, I know you keep hearing me saying cerebral palsy. No vex, no mistake. Eh? I know so I could just finish before comment. Anybody feel make mistake, but let's continue. Use wheelchairs not because they are unable to walk at all, but to assist with mobility, especially when dealing with muscle stiffness and posture issues. But because a child may be uh, brought in on a wheelchair doesn't mean they have never walked or have been paralyzed since birth you watch when we talked about that as well they have been having physio you understand and when they were stressing about the idea of when the child walks he does he doesn't get tired that means normally the child walks but gets tired that's why they keep stressing you are walking are you not getting tired are you not getting tired that means the child must have been walking before but gets tired just that at this point here the child is not getting tired so there's improvement if you were listening because I was listening. He says here, kids with this condition rely on various support services such as healthcare, which is regular therapy sessions to help manage symptoms, education, which has special resources to tailor learning to their needs, financial help programs like disability living allowance to cover extra costs, social support assistance from local authorities for personal care and um, uh, respite. Yeah, English, please help me. Community resources. Uh, organizations that provide advocacy and guidance for families. Now, if parents believe their child has been miraculously healed, they might risk losing these essential support services, which are vital for their child's health and growth. It's concerning to think that this claim could lead parents into a difficult situation. Remember, the parents were already having a difficult situation before the Japa enter UK, and probably they might have been enjoying some of these benefits because of a child situation. So, with this public declaration, which has happened, and they have gone back to physio and are saying, "Oh, he has improved on this. He has improved on this." If what happened has not completed which is supposed to be complete by the grace of god hallelujah they will still be enjoying they will still be having this benefit except it now gets to backfire against them which i think is what my friend here is saying so he said additionally while religious organizations make these claims by not facing scrutiny in places like the u.s or nigeria the uk does not the uk does take such claims seriously and will investigate them once that investigation is complete, we can establish the truth behind the claims. Yes, the question I'm asking right now is, what exactly is the miracle? Was she healed of cerebral palsy and has the NHS confirmed it? Was the first? Was this the first time she walked or got off the wheelchair since birth? Um, this it no, I don't think this is not the first time. That, that 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 is a fact from what I've observed from listening to them. While miracles can be personal, be a personal belief, it's best for families to stick with the available support systems to ensure their child gets care they need. I think they are also still sticking to the available support system, which they said they had to go back. Okay. So that's it as well for the end of this video. It's been a long one, I would say. Tell me what you think in the comments. Until I see you next time, stay blessed. And if you watch up to this point, please write in the comments for me, Jesus is Lord. Then you can write other things you want to insult me and call me names by. Just write Jesus is Lord if you got to this point. Okay? Let me know those who got here. Let me know my people. Bye-bye. <laughs>